Chapter 6, Lesson 7, Equivalent Expressions When addition and subtraction signs separate an algebraic expression, each part is called a term. So in the example below, 2x is a term, 5 is a term, and x is a term. So there are three terms in this expression. The number in front of a variable is called a coefficient. So the 2 is a coefficient because it's in front of a variable. And there's actually a 1 in front of every variable when we don't see a number because 1 times that variable is always itself. So the coefficients in this expression would be 2 and 1. A term without a variable is called a constant. So our constant would be 5 in this expression because it does not have any variable. Like terms are terms that contain the same variables. So 2x and x would be the only like terms in the expression because they both have the same variable x. Example 1. Simplify the expression 4 times 6x. Well, I want to combine 4 and 6, so I can shift my parentheses to the 4 and the 6 by the associative property. And then we can simplify 6 times 4 is 24 and bring down your x. So 4 times 6x equals 24x. Example 2. Simplify the expression 11 times 3x. I want to shift my parentheses around the 11 and the 3 so that I can multiply those together. And I can do this again by the associative property. 11 times 3 simplifies to 33. Bring down your x, and the final answer is 33x. Simplify the expression x plus x plus x. So because there's an invisible 1 in front of each x, 1x plus 1x plus 1x would equal to 3x. Example 4. Simplify the expression 7x plus 8 plus x. So in this one, not all the terms are like terms, so I can only combine my like terms. I know that like terms are the parts of the term that have the same variable. So 7x and x are my like terms. So I want to combine 7x plus x. So 7x plus one more x gives us 8x. Then we bring down what's left over, which is plus 8. And because 8x and 8 are not like terms, we can't add them. So this is the most simplified this expression could be. Try these problems here to check for understanding. Example 5. Simplify the expression 14y plus x plus 22y. So because we have a set of parentheses, I need to get my like terms together inside the parentheses. Again, like terms are terms that have the same variable. So 14y and 22y are like terms. So the first thing we can do is switch the places of the 14y and the x so that our like terms can be next to each other. We can do this by the commutative property. Now I can shift the parentheses to be around the 14y and the 22y by the associative property. Now that our like terms are in the parentheses together, we can combine them. 14y plus 22y equals 36y. Bring down what's left over, x plus 36y, and because these are not like terms, because they have different variables, we can't add it. 
Example 6. Simplify the expression 4 times the sum of 2x plus y. Because there's two different operations happening in this expression, in between the 4 and the parentheses represents multiplication, and here we have addition. There's only one property that we can use when the number on the outside is being multiplied, and inside we have addition or subtraction, and that's the distributive property. So to distribute this, we have to multiply the number on the outside with each term. So 4 has to first be multiplied with 2x, bring down the symbol in the middle, plus 4 needs to be multiplied with the y. So now we simplify 4 times 2x becomes 8x, bring everything else down, 8x plus 4y. This can't be simplified further because 8x and 4y are not like terms, and like terms cannot be added or subtracted. Example 7, factor 27x plus 18y. So in the last video we learned to factor, we have to find the greatest common factor of the number in each term. So we have to find the greatest common factor of 27 and 18. So let's make a list of all of the factors or all of the numbers that these can be divided by. 27 can be divided by 1, 3, 9, and 27. 18 can be divided by 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. So the greatest factor that they have in common is 9. So our greatest common factor always goes outside a set of parentheses when factoring. We use our greatest common factor and we divide each term by the greatest common factor. 27x divided by 9 leaves us with 3x because 27 divided by 9 is 3 and we have an x left over. Plus 18y divided by 9 is 2 y. This would be the factored form of the expression 27x plus 18y. Example 8. Each fruit basket at a farmer's market has three apples and one pear. Use the variable a to represent the cost of each apple and p to represent the cost of each pear. Write and simplify an expression that represents the total cost of five baskets. So if we were to get five baskets, in each basket we would have three apples that cost A dollars each. We don't know how much each costs. Plus one pair that costs P dollars each. Then we multiply this by five because there's five baskets and in each basket there's three apples and one pair. So because we have two operations, multiplication and addition, the only property that we can use to simplify this is the distributive property. So we have to distribute the 5 times 3a plus 5 times 1p. Let's simplify. 5 times 3 is 15. Bring down the variable, plus 5 times 1 is 5, bring down the variable. These are not like terms because they have different variables, so the expression cannot be simplified anymore. Try these problems yourself.